with just six lines of code you can predict next iphone price and this is very exciting and interesting machine learning project for you so let's get started before getting into the detail please like this video otherwise grandma will come to your house and steal your old iphone charger and then she will sell it to mr tim cook and for this project you will definitely need python installed in your machine and i will use my old friend pycharm to create a new project and when the pycharm is started all you need to is to click on this new project button and give it a fancy name so i will name it as a predict iphone or you can get like iphone price and then hit the create button and it will take few seconds for pycharm to be ready once the pycharm is ready all you have to do is press ctrl a and the backspace everything would be a clean slate and then you need to extract some data so i hunted all the internet to find out different price point what was the first price of the iphone second price of the iphone and if you can go to the wikipedia page you will get some tentative price so i just choose some of the prices from there and then format it into a csp and i will share this file with you in my github so please look at the description to find a link for this csp so i copy this csp and put it in the same folder where i have this main.python file just right click on this and it will show you an option to show in explorer so go to this explorer and then paste that csv file this is your data that you will be used to predict the future iphone price and here we will need few packages we will actually need two packages but to make it fun and interesting we will use three packages to draw a chart as a bonus so the first package we will install is called pandas and i will type pip install and then pandas and it will take like a few seconds for it for the pandas to be installed or come to your house and be ready in your pycharm once the pandas is ready to rock or climb on a bamboo tree all you need to do import it in your package and import you have done many several times right so import and then you type pandas and the job of pandas is to bring the csv data in your python file pandas can do much more but we will look into the simple implementation here so here we would be importing the data so we declare a variable name data and an equal sign and after that we call pandas and dot we will have an option called read csv and inside the parenthesis just type two single quote and iphone and you will see that iphone price csv as a suggestion just take it and now once we have the data we can definitely look at the data like print and then you can call data dot head and this head will give you like a five top rows of your data and you will have some idea that how this data is kind of like stayed in your csp so i will hit this run button and here at the bottom i will see that the data that i have and when i do the head it will give me the first five rows of data so i have like the version and the price so i have two column is the iphone version one the price was 499 this is kind of like a 13 years ago and 13 years ago they were charging just 499 now after 13 years they are charging almost three times like a 1300 how crazy are they actually we are crazy for iphone so that's why they are taking our advantage but anyway so we have the data right we can directly go to the machine learning model or we can like see that how data is look like and we can get a feeling about the data and to draw something uh, we will need to install a package and for this purpose i will install pip install and then map plot leap this is a charting library is very popular one and you it takes few seconds to install in your computer and you can draw all different type of like column chart bar chart and crazy crazy chart by using this but we will not get into the that detail we will just use it uh, for a, just a scatter plot so the first thing i will need is to import uh, the map plot leaf and from there i will import the pi plot and i can give you like a shortcut name and that will be like as maybe plt which is the short form of plotting that means i want to plot something and 
then I will just need two more lines, just two more lines. The first line I will need is call this plot and then I will call the scatter. That means I want to draw an scatter chart. And when this the scatter chart, remember I had like two column of data. One is the version, another one is the price. So in the scatter plot for the matplotlib, I'll tell you, hey, you take this two column and then draw it in a chart. So the first thing from the data, because I imported uh, all the data from the CSV by the name data. So I will need to pass this data and the column name. And the first one would be the version because the first column I have is the version and the second column I have is the price. So this would be like a data and then inside I will have price. That's it pretty much. And the last simple piece to see the chart is plot.show. That means I'm telling matplotlib don't hide behind the screen come outside and see me or show me what you got. So I hit this run button and within a second, I see a fancy chart. This is the mind blowing chart you might have seen. And this actually see that how this the beginning, they were experimenting, playing with us, not increasing the price that much. And once they knew that we are getting crazy, we are selling our kidneys, then they are asking for all the kidneys we have. And this is the price, how they are increasing. And this is how crazy they are going. So our goal here is to, since we have this data until this 12 point, maybe we are interested to know what will be the price in the, in the 14th version, maybe 16, maybe 20th version, maybe 13th version. So if this trend goes, then our machine learning algorithm is try to find a linear line in between, which might not be the best machine learning, but at least as a beginner, we can start with this. And from that, we will try to predict the price for the 14, 15 on that type of price. So we don't need this chart to do this prediction, but at least visually seeing into it helps us to look into any type of pattern in the data and also gives us the feeling that how future might be look like. So future is just cutting your pocket. So that's all you can see from here. And I will get rid of this uh, uh, matplotlib part of it and then plotting part of it because I only need data as well as I will need a machine learning, a simple machine learning framework. And for that, I will I will install the third and the most important uh, package I will need. And I will type pip install and then this is a scikit and dash learn. So this scikit is kind of like a very lightweight and gives you like a simple way to do some linear regression or you could do some kind of like a prediction model. And so we will wait few seconds for the scikit to be installed in our machine. Once you have this uh, scikit-learn installed, all you have to do is tell uh, your Python dude that, hey dude, from sklearn, you will have a linear model and you need to do import the linear regression. So I am importing the linear regression uh, from this sklearn linear model. And once I have the model, all I need to do is to tell, uh, run the linear regression and feed the data. So first thing is I'm creating a machine learning model, very simple one, but it's a model and I'm calling linear regression of it. Once I have the linear regression, I will tell model, hey model, you need to fit with this data. And this model actually expects two dimensional data. So here I will first, first a, this third bracket and inside another third bracket, I will mention the first column name, which is the version. And the second parameter would be data. And inside this data with a double uh, third bracket, I will place the price. Okay, that's pretty much it to tell the model to fit with this data. And after that, all I need to do is to call that model to predict some future. So I will tell you the predict some future and this prediction expects data in a two dimensional array. And a simple way to create two dimensional array is just write third bracket and inside third bracket, you will write the any values you want to predict. And if you want to see this result as an output, just write another print statement or I will just control X and inside print and then control V. So I am predicting or I want to see the prediction for the version 14. Let's see how does it goes. And it goes something like if it runs correctly that 
for the version 14 we need to pay something close to like a 1350 or around that time because apple usually charge either 49 or 99 something like this what about for the version 20 i can i can keep this one and i can maybe copy this line and then paste another line this will be version 20 and run this dude and it will go and create the regression model and it will tell me that the version 20 would be 1794 close to maybe like a 1799 and let's see further in the future maybe the version 30 at that time i don't know how crazy apple will become but at least we can uh, predict that and at that time they would be charging us 2500 just for a phone and that phone will not have a charger or a or a battery or, or anything like that maybe they will not have anything inside it would be the casing and you have to buy the camera and everything charger and everything separately and they will charge you for your heart lungs and every organs you have maybe you have to sell your houses to buy this iphone or you might have to sell your neighbor's house to purchase this iphone because that's crazy apple is going but that's not our job our job is to predict the future so we kind of get it and since we just use this one line we actually achieved a machine learning model to predict iphone version 30's price with just six lines of code and this is super easy if you have the data that you collect from internet or somewhere and you run a regression model and then you fit the data with this model and then you predict the future future is as simple as that six lines of python so if you watch this video until this point you have to like this video and write some romantic comment for my grandma otherwise grandma will come your house and steal your charger and she might be selling it ebay or to mr cook and if you watch this video until this point definitely subscribe to this channel and like this video and if you need to learn python in a fun way you have to go to the google play store and find this fantastic app called programming hero or if you're a rich dude and iphone user must go to the app store and find this fantastic app called programming hero and that's all from this video your grandma and i will see you in the next video